significant changes have been implemented in the interior, where the 2024 Dacia Spring has a completely new dashboard. Along with the 7-inch digital instrument cluster and 10-inch touchscreen, the cabin now has a new look with redesigned climate controls and air vents. The updated steering wheel features the new DC corporate logo and, more importantly, is now height-adjustable. We also see a new gear selector on the back as well as a smartphone holder. It's pretty practical for such a small car as the front trunk can swallow 35 liters, 1.23 cubic feet, while the rear cargo area has a volume of 308 liters, 6 more than before, or about 11 cubic feet. Fold down the rear row and luggage capacity increases to 1,004 liters, 35.5 cubic feet. Various storage compartments throughout the cabin offer an extra 33 liters, 1.16 cubic feet, of volume. The packaging is good when you consider that the spring is only 3,701 millimeters, 145.7 inches, long, 1,767 millimeters, 69.5 inches, wide, 1,519 millimeters, 59.8 inches, tall and has a wheelbase of 2,423 mm, 95.4 inches. Depending on the trim level, the wheels are 15 or 16 inches in size. These safari beige and brick red colors debut with the makeup. The base spring only has 45 horsepower on tap, but you can upgrade to a more powerful 65 horsepower electric motor. The latter helps the Pepe EV hit 100 km per hour in less than 14 seconds. Stick with the entry-level engine and the job is done in less than 20 seconds. The small 26.8 kWh battery is good for a range of more than 220 km and takes 45 minutes to charge from 20% to 80% with a 30 kW DC charger. You'll need to wait about 11 hours for the battery to charge from 20% to 100% from a 7 kW AC charger. It now supports bidirectional charging so it can power your toaster or other electrical devices. The range is far from impressive, but Dacia says it's more than enough for the typical spring user. After analyzing data collected from the model's infotainment system before the facelift, the Renault-owned brand discovered that owners were driving their vehicles approximately 23 miles 37 kilometers, per day. About 90% of all trips are less than 43 miles 70 kilometers. The data also showed that spring was driven at an average speed of 23 miles per hour, 37 kilometers per hour, and that 75% of owners charged the cars at home. Dacia is proud to say that the spring remains the only electric vehicle weighing under 1,000 kilograms 2,204 in Europe. The new version weighed only 6 kilograms 13 pounds, although it had more standard equipment and better driver assistance technology to meet European Union regulations. The fully loaded version in top trim still weighs just 984 kilograms 2,169 pounds. The spring won't get your pulse racing, but those who want no-frills transportation at a low price with zero emissions will appreciate this car. It's ideal for urban jungles and the perfect tool for small stores delivering products. The price of the new version has not been announced, but it is stated that the old version is around €20,000 in the Romanian domestic market before incentives. It is worth noting that the model is produced in China and has a Renault version known as City KZ. The two EVs trace their routes back to the Renault Quid, which was launched with combustion engines in 2015.